Hi and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at editing velocity data but also a bit of automation as well at the end because that there are some commonalities between the two so once you know how to do one some of the things will uh, map over onto automation as well. So first up you can see we've got a mundane piece of MIDI data here we're going to look at uh, changing the velocity so probably you you already know if you're on the arrow tool as soon as you move into the velocity area you can just click and move around and change those fairly easily but the line tool allows you to create much more accurate changes so you can just click and drag uh, around on there and don't forget it has multiple modes so this is important so the parabola mode is uh, really useful you can create curves like that and if you tap the control key the and while you move the curve will pop one way then the other so you can get that curve or that depending on whether you want an early or late uh, sort of quick increase areas which generally people find a little more difficult the the waveforms here so the way that these work is that they are actually set with the wavelength uh, set using your quantize value so you can see there I've got sine waves with a single bar uh, wavelength and you click and drag to select both the length of it but also the amplitude so you you start clicking at the center point of the wave and then you can move up and down afterwards to change it and also invert it as you can see there so you can do that but this often isn't what you want so if you turn that off you can actually click and drag out to get a waveform and then once you've done that if you hold down the shift key it fixes on the length of wave that you've already chosen then it allows you to drag it out so there I've got one which is got a wavelength of about 12 bars so it can allow you to do that so this is a really good good way to get these really accurate curves etc done so again you click and drag until you've got the amount of wave that you want and remember you can go backwards and forwards until you get what you want exactly and then you hold down the shift key and now it drags that out to wherever you want lengthwise and up and down will do your amplitude so there you go so that works well and that works for the other modes as well in exactly the same way so you can see there so they make drawing complicated shapes particularly for things like panning and so on as well nice and easy to do okay now once you've got your data or maybe you've got some data which has got a lot of detail in it etc so I'm just quickly going to set something up we will just use this which we're going to be looking at in another video so we've got some randomness there now let's say that was what you wanted but you wanted to change the overall pattern of these now if you highlight all of the notes and get those we can see the velocity areas change and importantly we've got these four handles okay now these are really important for doing this kind of thing so the one at the beginning is tilt left which allows you to effectively fade in and we will see that a little more clearly in a second and this one is tilting to fade out then we've got this which scales vertically which you may or may not have seen and this one scales around the center so this actually allows you to reduce the differences in these so I'm going to flatten these out a bit and now when we tilt them you can see we've got a nice effectively a fade in but there's still some some changes in there so using these controls is is really important for for changing the the overall trend with these and altering a lot of things at once now this is what carries over into automation editing so if we look at this uh, section of automation here we can draw in some, a few parts etc and once you've got multiple ones highlighted again we've got tilt we've got tilt at that end we've got scaling and also scaling around the center so making use of these is is really important again these these are things which uh, if you've been using Cubase a long time you know these haven't always been around and you used to have to do all this kind of stuff manually which was really tedious so making use of these handles when you've got multiple uh, pieces of data whether it's notes or automation to edit is is a real time saver and I say most of these things in this these videos are about allowing you to work faster and still get the same uh, end result so you're concentrating on music rather than becoming a, you know a binary programmer of everything 
so there you go so you knowing your different modes for the line tool etc and then these ways of editing multiple notes or multiple pieces of automation data together is the way to speed things up 